CBS, The Bold and the Beautiful, revealed that Finn feels Sheila's passing is a big loss for him. Perhaps in Los Angeles, except for Finn, no one feels sorry for Sheila's death. When Finn returned home and saw Sheila lying motionless in blood, he was very frightened. I don't understand what happened when I wasn't here. Stuffy's still healthy and unharmed. Thomas and Ridge then also arrived at the scene. They did not hesitate to insult Sheila, even though Sheila was dead. That made Finn very angry. Even though Sheila did many wrong things, she was still the one who gave birth to Finn, so she deserves respect. While everyone was still discussing Sheila's death, Finn went to the apartment where Sheila was living. He thought he could find some memories related to his mother. Later, Finn met Hope and confided in her. Finn feels that now Hope is the only person suitable to listen to his feelings. Unlike Steffi, Hope seems to understand Finn's feelings more because Hope is also a father who had a criminal. She understands how conflicted Finn felt. In addition, Hope also felt Steffi's actions were really excessive. Steffi's too hostile toward Sheila. While her attitude is very repentant and wants to make up with Steffi, Hope's understanding makes her relationship with Steffi closer. The fight between Steffi and Sheila is where the case of stabbing Sheila originated. Sheila finds Steffi's house and wants revenge on her. Steffi was afraid that Sheila would hurt her, so she took the first step. She took a knife from the kitchen and stabbed Sheila in the body. Steffi thought Sheila was still alive so she called the police. Steffi has no desire to hide her actions because Steffi didn't mean to kill Sheila. She just wanted to defend herself. Sheila illegally broke into Steffi's house, so she was the one in the wrong first. By the time the police arrived, Steffi was still holding the knife she used to attack Sheila. She also didn't erase her fingerprints on it. Compared to Sheila, Steffi has a perfect background, so she's very confident about that. Sheila has a very bad history. It was Sheila who tried to shoot Finn and Steffi in the alley near Il Gardino. After that, Sheila didn't even call an ambulance and wanted the two of them to die. Luckily, Steffi and Finn are still alive, but Sheila tried to kill them before. So this time Sheila might want to kill Steffi again. Steffi's so different from Sheila. She has no criminal record and is also a member of a famous Forrester family in Los Angeles. So the advantage will definitely be in Steffi's favor. Steffi cannot be convicted of murder. It was just legitimate self-defense. She will not have to get into trouble related to the law. But did Steffi get complacent too soon?